Coming, Pecola. All full, Gramps. I've got a long hike ahead of me in the Rookery Mountains. Chewie and I are going to a movie called The Curse of Cuberus. It's gonna be super scary. Yeah, scary. Great. It's gonna start in five minutes. Flapping flippers, Whoa. Chewie. Let's go. Yeah, don't worry. It's only a movie. like the first to see your latest work of art? This is like so totally awesome. It's a sculpture of you. Show me, show me, like show me. I call it Hillary. <gasps> huh? I call it hideous. That's what you think I look like? Blobby? Oh, no, Love Biscuit. See, it represents my feelings. I even put my name on it so the whole world will know how I feel about you. Like, I don't want the world to know you have blobby feelings for me. <laughs> I'll get rid of it, baby bunny. Uh, not in the trash. The garbage men might see it. Yes, pumpkin pie. How about I drive way up in the mountains and bury it? Better, but scratch your name off just in case there's a mole up there who can read or something. Thanks for nothing, stupid statue. No, the ancient statue of Cuberus the Grumpy. The inscription says, Beware the curse of Cuberus. All who touch me shall come to ruin. Cool. Huh, Chewie? Don't be oh. It's cursed. Flapping flippers. A cursed statue. Pretty creepy, huh, Chewie? Uh-huh. And you're sure no one will ever find it? Of course, Hillikins. Who would ever go poking around in the Rookery Mountains? It's some kind of ancient statue. Very crude workmanship. I wonder what kind of primitive people would honor such a blobby image. What was your favorite part, Chewie? The end. I like the earthquake and the flood. Why can't Cube Town ever have a cool curse like that? Just lucky, I guess. Hey, your grandpa's back. I'm talking to Pecolius. So, what is this mysterious thing? I believe that it's an ancient statue. I, uh, possibly used to scare off evil spirits. Ancient statue? Flapping flippers. It's just like the movie, Chewie. It even has weird writing on it. One more soda, and I'll be ready to officially forgive you, Gazelle. And as soon as I can decipher this strange writing, <gasps> I'm sure I'll be able to tell exactly who made it. Ew! Like, I wanted the soda in a glass. Sorry, Nuzzle Nose. Gotta run. I have to warn Gramps that he has a cursed statue. Come on. <gasps> Curse has started already. We didn't know what to do, because all we've got is more water. Calm down. Let's just go into the house and find out what the problem is. I told you he was smart. Well, <laughs> I think I told you. What a news day. An ancient blobby statue and a flood. 
Chewy, we've got a curse on our flippers. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. Look, Gramps forgot the statue. He never forgets anything. The curse strikes again. We've got to bury this back in the Rookery Mountains before it does any more damage. Did they act this goofy in the movie? Gotta find the statue! Gotta find the statue! No statue, no Pacolius. Gotta find the statue! Gotta find the statue! Sorry, I'm late, Hillary. A small waterfall catastrophe at home. So where's this, like, ancient thingy you called me about? <laughs> wow, it must be, like, really small. I left it at the park. It's an awfully long walk to the Rookery Mountains, Pecola. All part of the curse. Here comes Officer Kumada. Did you hear the news? Pecolius just lost a valuable statue. That's great! But I'll find it. That's terrible! He's looking for that statue. I better hide it till they're gone. We can't expose them to the curse. Hmm. I need to examine the scene of the crime. <clears throat> oh, could you give me a ride to the park, Gazelle? Uh, sure. Hop in. I've got to keep him from finding that statue. Ooh, Gazelle, this isn't the way to depart. Uh, I'm taking a shortcut. Jeepers, that was a close call. Hello, Pecola. Hello, little Chew. Hi, Rory. Rory! Flapping flippers. This curse is getting worse. dropped off the statue yet. We have to follow him. But we've made a big mess, Pecola. Shouldn't we clean it up? It's not us. It's the curse. Hmm. Mr. Sariyama must have ordered some sort of blobby melon masher. Mr. Sariyama! Mail's here! Everything the statue touches gets ruined. That's what people generally say about you, Pecola. This is no time for jokes, Chewy. We've got to get rid of this thing. The only way this engine is going up the Rookery Mountains is if we take it apart and carry it. See? Now the curse made the engine stop working. The cactus engine never works. But what about this blister? I didn't have it before we started running all over town with this statue. Now, did I? This isn't the way to the park, either. Now what, Pecola? We're back where we started. And it's all because of the curse. It made us run around in circles. Uh-oh, there's your grandfather. Something wrong, Gramps? Yes, I've lost a valuable relic. For a scientist, that's unforgivable. It wasn't your fault. That statue was cursed. We learned all about curses at the movies. At the movies? <sighs> Pecola, curses are just made up stories. They're what we call legends or myths. They're not real. But what about all the bad things that happened since that statue showed up? Our house got flooded? Mr. Sariyama's melons fell down? Mr. Bernard's buns bounced down the street? But the flood at our house happened because someone left the faucet running. Uh-oh. I think that someone was me. Sorry. And maybe all that other stuff happened because of us. <sighs> Maybe you're right. Well, I better get back to looking for that statue. You don't have to, Gramps. It's right here. Yeah, but how? Why? I took it. I thought it was cursed, and I was just trying to save Cube Town. I'm really sorry. Hmm. The next time you're confused about something, please ask someone you trust for advice. Like you, Gramps? Like me, Pegola. 
does it gazelle all over right now? I'm sorry, but I'm a gazelle, not a homing pigeon. Pacolius has found his statue. He's about to present it to the art museum right now. Oh, no. <laughs> Luckily, I know a shortcut. Oh, no. Scoot over. I'm driving. <laughs> On behalf of the Cube Town, like, art museum, I'm honored to accept this ancient thingy, which will be on display here, like, forever. No! Wait! <laughs> Don't give her that! Gazelle, why are you interrupting what is only, like, the most awesome moment of my life? Because I don't want you to be embarrassed, Pookums. And maybe he should quit calling her goofy names like that. You see, what Pacolius found wasn't an ancient sculpture. It's not even a very good sculpture. I think I just figured out the name of the artist. It was me. I tried to make a statue of my beloved Hillary, but I'm not a good enough artist to capture her beauty. Ah, that is so sweet. You must be very disappointed to find out that statue is worthless. Worthless? On the contrary. It was made by someone to express his love for another person. It's priceless. See, Pekla? The statue brought Hillary and Gazelle together. It turned out to be a good thing. I guess. But even if it's not a curse, it's still kind of yucky. job. How hard can it be? You'll see, Rory. I'll be a great postman. <laughs> I guess I do need the help. Flap it, flippers! Where do I go first? So, to avoid traffic on Galapagos Street, take the long way around. Why don't I just go to Mr. Pogolski's last? Oh, no! He has a very big package today. Best to drop it off first. Oh, I see what you mean. Good. Now, let's review the do's and don'ts one more time. <sighs> Do deliver the mail quickly, but don't break the speed limit. Do place the mail in the proper mailboxes, but don't put anything else in there. Do... Gee, there sure are a lot of rules. I just want to get hopping. Now, Pekka... I spent a long time learning how to do this right. That's how I became Mail Carrier of the Year. Whoa. Okay, Pekola, you can go. Just remember everything I've told you. You bet. I'll be the best postman ever. Uh, next to you, of course. A while, but I followed all the rules. Everyone's been phoning to tell me that you did a great job. Really? Yes. In fact, do you think you could do it for a few more days? Well, just until I'm a bit better? Flapping flippers. You bet. I told you I'd be good at this. 
Hello, Pecola. You're early this morning. I thought you'd like to read your mail over breakfast. Well, that's very thoughtful of you. Good morning, Pecola. Mmm, something smells great. I'm baking cookies. <laughs> Sounds like your mailbox could use some oil. That's better. Well, aren't you the sweetest? Sweetest penguin in Cube Town. Rory never oiled my hinge for me. Have some cookies to take with you. Oh, no thank you. I'm not allowed to eat on the job. Nonsense! They'll give you the energy to work faster. Well, when you put it that way, thanks. Mm. <laughs> wow, I'm way ahead of schedule. These cookies really do help you work faster. Maybe I should give some to Mayor Papazoni. Everybody's always saying he never works fast. But I'm not supposed to put stuff that's not mail in the mailboxes. Hey! There! Now it's mail. Oh. I'm done, Rory! Oh, you finished already? I hope you weren't speedy. A bit, maybe. But it was because of Auntie Yorkshire's cookies. <gasps> you were eating on the job? I tried to say no thank you. Did you get crumbs on anyone's mail? It's only cookie crumbs. Nothing bad happened. Hmm. Well, okay. But tomorrow, I'd really like you to just follow my directions. Please. Okay, Rory. I'm sorry. I only bent the rules a little. Maybe I'm not so good at this. There's our postman, Pecola. Hi, Mayor Papazoni. Sorry about leaving cookies in your mailbox. Not to worry. I thoroughly enjoyed them. You're doing a fine job. Thanks, Mr. Mayor. But Rory wasn't too happy with my work today. Well, as mayor of Cube Town, I declare that you are just as good a postman as Rory. And maybe even better. <laughs> Keep up the good work. A better postman than Rory? If you think I was good today, just wait till tomorrow. Don't go too fast, okay? The rocket board is delicate and... Chewie, you've got more silly rules than Rory. I'm Postman Pecola. I know what I'm doing. Rapid flippers. I should be able to do the deliveries in half the time. Maybe I'll even get a raise. Since Mayor Papazoni liked the cookies so much, I'll bet he'll like a box of chocolates even more. And chocolate doesn't leave crumbs, so I'm sure Rory wouldn't mind. I've got chocolates for everyone on my route. Mmm, you handsome devil, you. <laughs> no gazelle loves chocolates. Like, ready for our drive, Lemmykins? Sure thing, Snuggle Bunny. <gasps> and like, just who is sending you chocolates, gazelle? Chocolates? I have no idea. I, I... <laughs> Don't play like innocent with me. Are you seeing someone else? <laughs> of of course not, Boogums. You're my one and only. Gee, sweet cheeks, aren't you going to share? Well, Heckle has already brought the mail. <laughs> I wonder if he left me another sweet surprise. <gasps> Chocolate covered mail? to pick up the pants. Postman Pecola coming through. <gasps> yeah. ah! Hey! Hey, that's that speedy. <laughs> A dry melon is a happy melon. Mail call! 
Pegola! Oops. Here's your meal, Mr. Sariyama. Well, I can't exactly come down and get it, can I, Pecola? Oh, that's okay. I'll read it for you. Dear son, I saw this adorable underwear, oh. and I just had to buy them for you. I know how much you like... Uh-oh. Duckies? <gasps> Put those away! Oh, I feel so much better. <laughs> Some sleep and hot chicken soup really did oh. the trick. Oh, no! What's going on at Mr. Sariyama's? Piccola, please stop reading. Are you sure you want me to stop? There's lots more. Piccola, what are you doing? <laughs> He's making me a laughing stock. And that's not all. He's got my snuckums thinking I'm a two-timer. And my laundry is covered in chocolate. Piccolo also committed several traffic violations. I think I kind of did all of your don'ts, Rory. Why, Pecola? Why? Well, everybody said I was doing such a great job, and I thought I could do even better. Sorry, everyone. I guess I really messed up. These young people always think they know better. Remember when Rory first started? <laughs> he tried to train carrier pigeons to deliver the mail. I'll never forget that nest in my mailbox. And then he tried to deliver the mail with a giant catapult. <laughs> but it was too powerful. Our mail ended up in Cube City. <laughs> then there was the mail delivering robot on roller skates. <laughs> you used to mess up too, Rory? <laughs> Why, sure. What took me a long time to become good at this job? Why, the tips I gave you were just to keep you from making the same mistakes I did. I know you meant well. Here, Rory. I was silly to think I knew better than you. You must know everything about being a mailman. <laughs> well, I've learned a lot over the years, but that doesn't mean I can't still learn a thing or two. Before you go, could you get my ladder? Rory? Pecola? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>